In this episode, I've got zero dollars, an old rust bucket, some worn out old machinery, and an abandoned gold mine. My family is in crippling debt, my grandfather just died, and the only way I can help my family and make my grandpa proud is to get his old gold mine back up and running. I just spent my last dollars on an Uber ride from the airport, and look at that, there's my grandpa's old Peterbilt. Uh, wait a second, this thing looks like a pile of sh It looks like it's got a for sale sign in the window, 15k? Yeah, no wonder it's still sitting here. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would spend 15k on this rusty banged up old truck there is no way it'll work but let's go ahead and try starting this thing up you gotta be kidding me this thing looks hella rough but it still runs that's why you buy a beer built right there uh-huh oh yeah seriously though that old gas hits different this thing's been sitting for more than a decade and it's still cranked oh yeah we're off to a great start but we're still just at the entrance of the property so let's go ahead and get down to the mine and see what other goodies grandpa left for us there's the old trail that my grandpa used to pull behind the peterbilt and it looks just as filthy as the truck oh and that right there is his old cb750 well, it's a little rough of him driving it down the dirt roads, but it's a Honda, so I bet this thing starts like a dream. Oh yeah, I'm not surprised by that one bit. You know what I'm saying? You can put sugar in the tank and it would still keep on ticking because it's a Honda. Well, okay, maybe that's a stretch. He used to take me out on rides when I was a little kid, so it's only right that we take this thing out for a rip. Oh yeah, this old bike still got it, boys. Let's go ahead and take it back. I need to make sure that all the fluids are topped off. The air filter's probably filthy from all this dirt. And on top of all that, these old ass tires are dry rotted. And look at that old big wheel, boys. Let's hop on it and see if I still got it this thing was a blast when i was a kid and it still got plenty of pep let me tell you but the real question is can we jump it oh oh god dang this thing is dangerous no wonder they discontinued three wheelers jesus christ but man i gotta hit that jump one more time ah! Oof, okay, okay, I gotta get off of this thing before I get myself killed. All right, it looks like we've got a fuel trailer, and it's even got a little bit of fuel left in it, which will be massive for helping us get started because I am flat broke. And over here is the old... Oh, wait a second, boys. There's a bear over there in the woods. Okay, okay, um, I'm gonna go grab my grandpa's old bolt action real quick because I don't have any food or money, so the bear's gonna have to get got. All right, boys, I got the 300 Magnum, but unfortunately, the bear didn't stick around. So I'm gonna have to track him down, but he left behind some big old tracks and I can still smell his stank ass in the air So I don't think he'll be too hard to track down. I also got my trusty 10 mil for backup defense I know it's not big enough for a damn bear, but it's all I got around. So it's gonna have to work boys. Oh Wait a second. Is that? Oh Boys, that's it. That's it. That's the grizzly. I've been tracking for hours. Awesome. Okay. Okay Let me slow down my breath so I can get the perfect shot Oh yeah, boys. I'm pretty sure I smacked him square in the lungs. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's running. He's running. Wait a second. Maybe we get a second shot off on him. Oh, I, I think he just dropped. He just dropped. He might be dead. Oh yeah, he is down, boys. I'm gonna be eating good tonight, but oh, the work ain't over yet. It's gonna be a long hike over there, and then chopping them up and trying to hike them out before the sun goes down is gonna be a bitch. There it is, boys. Check out the size of that thing. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that monster's head. Ooh, I am glad I was able to take him out from a distance. I do not want to deal with a monster like that at close range. Fuck that. Like I thought, I hit him square in the line. Lung, and it's a nearly 1300 pound bear and I shot it from 200 meters. That's almost 700 feet Well boys, it's the next day. I packed out as much bear meat as I could But once I got back with the second load it was already dark and I am NOT about to hike through bear and wolf country at night by myself with meat in my pack So I wound up leaving the rest of the meat to the wolves and sleeping in the semi truck It certainly wasn't comfortable, but it got the job done, but it's a bright new day So let's go ahead and check out what else Paul left for us now now here we go, this is Paul's old square body, and I gotta say, it looks just as filthy as everything else out here, but I'm sure it'll clean up really well. He used to stay in this old bus when he was out here mining, but it doesn't look like it held up too well. Yeah, I think I'd rather sleep on the bench seat in the Silverado until I get something better, because that moldy bed in the bus just ain't gonna work, son. <laughs> oh, I'd rather sleep on the ground, that shit looks nasty. 
All right, it looks like the Chevy is running well. Let's head down to the Trommel and make sure it's held up okay after sitting for more than a decade. Damn, that thing's held up well. It looks like we never even left it. Grandpa did always take good care of his equipment. Well, except for the Peterbilt and the square body. Oh, and the Hondas. Now this over here is the break room, obviously. You know, drink a cold beer, eat a hot meal, get back to work. And now, Men, it is time to head down into the depths of the mine, where many have perished and few have survived. But I am willing to put my life on the line to get that gold. <clears throat> Anyways, we got an old Caterpillar dozer, and it's in rough shape, but these old dozers are cool, man. Oh, boys, I just hopped in it and tried to get it to start, but the engine won't budge. So I guess once we have the money, we'll have to get a tech out here to get it up and running. Well, let's hope the John Deere loader runs, otherwise we might be screwed. There it is, boys. Okay, it's running, and there's already a load of dirt in the bucket. So let's go ahead and load it into the dump truck. And then as long as the dump truck starts, boys, we're in business. Oh, it cranked easy. This dump truck still got plenty of life in it. With these two machines, we should be able to move a ton of dirt. And if the trommel doesn't give us any issues, we'll be smelting gold bars in no time. Damn it, the generator won't start, and I can't even figure out what the hell is wrong with it. Oh, I see. It ain't got no gas in it. Okay, so I grabbed the trailer and refueled the Jenny. So now we should be good to go ahead and feed the trommel some pay dirt. Here we go, boys. It is time to run our first load of pay dirt through the trommel. And let's hope that it is rich with gold. Because if we don't get a payday soon, we will run out of fuel and then be dead in the water. So I'm going to get to moving dirt without romping on the gas. Too hard to conserve fuel. Let's get it. <laughs> Well, as you guys can see, I've been digging up a storm for more than a week, and it's been back-breaking work. I gotta tell you, sitting in this air-conditioned cab, listening to music, digging for hours on end, has been horrible. I don't know how I got through it. <coughs> I've put countless loads of pay dirt through the trommel, and it has handled it without even skipping a beat. And we've got a lot of processed pay dirt to show for it, so it's time we go ahead and get all this gold concentrate down to the next step of the gold processing plant. Because it is really starting to pile up. I I probably should have done it already, but I was just so locked into moving dirt that I just kind of kept pushing it off. But we got it loaded up now. Now let's just strap everything down real good. There we go. Everything looks good to go. Hell yeah, boys. This is exciting. This next process is going to separate every little last bit of crud from the gold, and then we can finally get started on smelting all the gold down into bars. So yeah, let's just feed this gold concentrate into the magnetite separator. And there we go. Now we just got to wait for it to finish processing, and then we can take it down to the smelter and make some gold bars. It's the next day and every bit of gold is finished processing through the separator and fortunately we have had a great gold wash for our first run and we really need it because I used the last bit of fuel that I had to run the separator last night and fortunately we were able to get the job done well enough there is still a little bit of gold left in the separator but we got enough out to make some gold bars so let's go ahead and get the gold into the smelter and get the furnace going all right, there we go. The gold is in the smelter, and it'll be done in no time. The gold is done. Check it out. Our first ever gold bars. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and start loading it up because I'm ready to make some money. Having this old skid steer has been clutch. Trying to load up these pallets without it would be a pain. Without it, I'd have to use that big freaking loader rigged up with a bunch of straps. It would be ridiculous. But anyways, we got the gold loaded up nice and tight. So let's head to town and get this gold sold. <laughs> we 
are at the pawn shop, boys. I'm gonna run in real quick and sell this gold. I just sold the gold for 60 grand. That's a damn good first paycheck. Making money like this, we're gonna be buying new equipment from across the street in no time. Now that I got some money in my pocket, the first thing I wanna do is go get some KFC because I've been eating nothing but bear for more than a week. All right, boys, I just got a whole bucket of drumsticks, some biscuits, and some mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, I'm gonna wolf down as much of this as I can, and then I'm gonna run into Tractor Supply to get a few things. Well, I just got done shopping, and I spent over three grand. I got a pressure washer for cleaning all the vehicles, as well as everything I need to get the motorcycle running properly. You know, air filters, oil, new tires, and I even got performance carburetors for the three-wheeler, as well as an ECU tuner, so that we can get some more power, baby. Oh, and also, when I was inside, somebody told me that there's a super cool truck dealership down the road, so we're gonna go check it out. Okay, it should be just right up ahead. There it is. Okay, let's just pull over on the side of the road. That way we can take a look. Damn, they got a bunch of nice trucks. I can't believe how many badass trucks they got, especially for such a small town. This dealership is sick, but I gotta get up out of here before I wanna buy a new truck. But once I have enough money, you better bet I'll be back. I forgot to tell you guys, when I was in town, I actually went ahead and sent some money back home to my family, so that'll help get them back on their feet. But unfortunately, I completely forgot to bring my fuel trailer, so I will have to go back later to fill that up. There is a little station not too far from the mine though, so it won't be too bad. Now that we've made it back to the mine, the first thing that I want to do is break out the new pressure washer and wash this truck. Hopefully this thing does a good job because it certainly wasn't cheap. It seems to be cutting through the mud pretty good so far, but there is a lot of dirt to get through. I paid some guys to come out here today and haul out that old rusty bus so that we can make room for a motorhome that I saw for selling the paper. It is old, but they're not asking much for it, and I've been sleeping on the bench seat in my truck, so it'll be a big upgrade. Let's make sure we get every bit of mud out of the wheel well there we go damn this truck cleaned up well i don't even see one spot of rust on the whole truck that pressure washer was definitely worth the money we got this old square body spark one now that i'm done with the truck i'm gonna go ahead and tune up the motorcycle and three-wheeler and then we can get those shining too all right i just got done with the bikes now let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up real quick because i am super excited to take this three-wheeler out for a spin with the extra horsepower this thing should be pretty rowdy oh yeah the cb750 cleaned up just as good as the truck now let's just finish up the three and hope there's no rust hiding under the mud. And look at that, not a single imperfection on this old dog either. But now for the funk part, let's get this thing cranked up and see how it performs. Oh my god! Holy shit, I didn't expect it to take off like that. I almost flipped over backwards. Thank god I put new brake pads in that thing, otherwise I would have been on my ass. Okay, no more flooring it. I'm gonna put the power down, but I'm gonna ease into it so that we don't freaking flip over. Oh, this old wheeler is quick, boys. Check it out, boys. I got that old rusty bus hauled up out of here to make room for my new motorhome. It's nothing fancy, but it only cost me $3,500. And since I don't have a lot of money right now, but needed something to live in, this was the perfect option. I would like to have gotten something better, but my main priority right now is saving up enough money to get a brand new excavator. That way I can take this gold mining operation to the next level. And speaking of mining, I'm gonna need some more fuel to get back to work. So let's go ahead and get that trailer filled up at the gas station. You know what, before we head out, I gotta get this trailer clean because it does not look right next to this clean ass truck. And there we go. I got the trailer looking nice and shiny let's head out of here all right i just got done filling up the fuel trailer and it wasn't cheap but we got to keep those machines running and while i was filling up the tank i decided instead of just getting back to work i'm gonna go ahead and try to get that old caterpillar dozer onto the trailer haul it into town and get it repaired because that will really help us go ahead and step up our mining operation so i think it'll be well worth it because the repairs shouldn't cost too much i just got back and i got the old trailer hooked up to the semi truck so let's go ahead and get to the bottom of the mine and see if we can get that old dozer onto the trailer obviously it's not gonna crank but i do have a really big winch on the back of the trailer so hopefully we can get it on there without too much trouble but first things first boys let's get this dirt out the way I got the dirt out the way and the dozer on the trailer and now let's get up top and get this thing washed off because I can't have the mechanics trying to work on this dirty old dozer. I mean shit they might even charge me extra for having to chisel through all this dried up mud. Alright boys let's get this old machine nice and clean. 
and there we go boys i got the old dozer looking fresh and i can't believe how good the paint still is this thing's pretty minty for such an old piece of equipment but anyways let's get down to the shop the shop guys i'm gonna let the mechanics get the old dozer off the trailer and then we're gonna head out and come back whenever the hell they're done working on it but before we do that let's go see what they have for sale oh my god boys look at the size of these machines the bucket on that excavator is enormous i can scoop up a freaking semi truck with that thing <laughs> these are honestly mind-boggling big i couldn't imagine anything bigger than this these have to be the biggest mining machines on the entire planet these must cost millions of dollars each definitely way out of my budget but with that old dozer up and running, we're going to be making money even faster. So maybe we can work towards getting something from over here. Oh yeah, these machines definitely look a lot more affordable while still being a massive upgrade from what we have now. I mean, check out the bucket on this skid steer. This is way bigger than the one that I have. But I don't really need a new skid steer. One of these big excavators would be way more useful around the mine. The thing that I really need though is a new dump truck because that old Volvo I got barely has enough horsepower to get up the hill with a full load. They've got so much cool shit to look at that I could stay out here all day, boys, but the gold's not going to move itself, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to the mine and get to work. Well, it's been a few days, and the mechanic called me to let me know that he's finally done fixing the dozer. He said that it's going to cost $2,800, and that he went through absolutely everything, from just doing an oil change to greasing new bearings to rebuilding the entire little starter engine. So we shouldn't have any issues for a long time to come, but anyways, let's get it loaded on the trailer. Okay, I paid the man and got the dozer dozer on the trailer let's just go ahead and get down to the mine because i can't wait to try out this old dozer i just got the dozer unloaded and the first thing that i want to do with it is build a ramp going up to the top of the pay dirt and then a road going all the way across to the other side and then a ramp going right back down to the bottom and the reason that i want to do all this is so that we can start mining from the top down instead of just cutting into the side of the hill let's get to it <laughs> boys i got the entire road cut in and it took me a couple of weeks but it looks damn good the plan is to level out the top completely and then gradually dig all the way down until we hit the water table and just can't dig anymore but that's obviously going to take a lot of work and we're going to need bigger and better machines to get it done fortunately i have processed a lot of pay dirt cutting this road in so why don't we go sell the gold bars that i've already finished smelting because we might even make enough money to buy a brand spanking new machine i've got just one last crate to load onto the trailer and as you guys can see we've got six times the gold that we had on our first sell run so i'm stoked to get down there and have a massive payday and hopefully buy some new machines because we are damn sure going to need some new equipment to be able to get through that massive amount of pay dirt the small outdated equipment that i started with was a great starting point don't get me wrong but if i'm going to get through that massive amount of pay dirt i'm really going to need some large modern machines because otherwise it's going to take years to get through all that dirt obviously i've got everything strapped down so let's go ahead and get down there and sell this gold and here we are at the pawn shop, boys. I'm going to go ahead and get all this gold unloaded and brought into the store so that we can make some money. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the video short. I've been dealing with carpal tunnel and it's been preventing me from even being able to edit. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and get the surgery, which is going to put me out for a while, but I'll be back once I'm 100%. I really hate to end the video like this. Uh, I was really happy with where it was headed, but it is what it is. And I'll catch you guys when I'm back.